Hare Krishna. I would like to thank our uh, Tulsi Prabhu for giving me an opportunity to speak about Varsha Mataji. So, Varsha Mataji, uh, I came to, uh, I came in touch with her in 2007 when <clears throat> I was with Bal Goyantrahu doing this Lotus Voice and Teacher's Voice programs. So, that time uh, she used to come regularly for the classes and we had a training program called Teacher's uh, Training Program. That was a weekend, we had three batches. Karnet Hakur Prabhu, Raman and Prabhu and Bal Gwen Prabhu used to take and I was a coordinator for all the programs. And she used to attend uh, Bal Gwen Prabhu's programs and uh, make notes for all the DYS. And sometimes I used to myself feel uh, why she is making notes. DYS though, so many people give DYS, so many places notes are available. But she very humbly, very submissively sit, make a nice notes. So at the end she compiled all the DYS thing, a very systematic which was used later on, we used it for training programs. So, uh, so I wanted to emphasize from this, so whatever she took, she took as, a, as something very, very important in her life. There was nothing casual in her Krishna consciousness. She came, whether it was chanting, so I used to see her, she used to sit peacefully at one place and chant all, like throw one and a half hour or two hour, whatever time is there after the uh, Sikshastakam prayers. And also, we had uh, this Guinness World Record. There also she contributed a lot. And uh, when she uh, came uh, in Krishna consciousness, especially with Bal Gwain Prabhu, she was not knowing many brahmacharis. So she was knowing Bal Gwain Prabhu and myself. I was with Bal Gwain Prabhu. For very small, small things she used to ask me. Sometimes I used to become a little confused because she is a Mataji and some questions are a little irrelevant. So being a um, constraint for my own ashram, I used to face a lot of challenges how to answer. Like some Mataji behaved some different way and she came and started crying. I don't know how to deal with that. Then I, like initial days, she was not knowing many people in the temple. So like that, she was like a small innocent child. Every small thing she used to inquire, make a note of it and try to follow very sincerely. So I saw throughout a very genuine Krishna conscious practitioner. Learn everything, respect everyone for whatever they are there. And also, whenever her parents used to come to temple, she used to call me and introduce her parents. And she always uh, used to tell me, some or other you preach my parents. So I was not knowing how to preach the elders, the let's say elders, and some or other I used to speak something, her mother and later father, and her brother, uh, who was in US. And he was uh, working in a company called Texas Instruments. So I was also working in Texas Instruments together. So he was my senior. So, so t he was not knowing me, but I saw him a couple of times in my company or canteen. I saw him. So when he came, she came to know about this. And she always used to tell me, Prabhuji, you make my brother a devotee. <laughs> so I, I, I tried several times, but because of he was in foreign many times, we couldn't do much. And whenever he came, and also, and right from the beginning, she used to tell, uh, she, she was doing a lot of preaching, children preaching or girls preaching or everything. And she used to call me, ask me for Mahaprasad. So we have Madhuram counter, the Mahaprasad is very easily accessible, you can go and purchase. But earlier that system was not there. So if you want to get Mahaprasad from the temple, you need to know someone who is inside. <laughs> so she used to ask me, Prabhuji, I don't know anyone, you are the only source, please give me Mahaprasad. So dry prasad, especially she wants some burfi, sandesh, such type of thing. So more, I think more than two, three hundred times I must have given Mahaprasad to her. <laughs> so several times she used to ask for Mahaprasad wherever she is going for preaching or anything. Her special guest comes, she used to call me, Prabhuji, I am coming for program. Can you make some plates for me? I used to make plate for her prasad and plates many times. So I feel very fortunate to do some seva to her. And also my, uh, in 2008, my sister had come. I want to tell about her faith in Ayurveda. My sister, first time she had come to Pune, and you know, I am an elder brother, and generally sisters depend upon their brothers a lot. And she asked me, I came to Pune to meet you, my sister told me. I said, okay, it's been a year after that, I remember like that, I told. She told me, my hair is red, you do something. I do not know, we shave our balls. <laughs> I don't know how to <laughs> save your balls. So, <laughs> here's. Then I told, you talk to Varsha Madhaji, she may do something. Because she was with us that time. And she... Straight away she took her to Dopeshkar doctor, Ayurveda. Then later on uh, she told me we went to the doctor and everything. I told Ayurveda, oh, 10 years ago, you will go to the whole 
I told my sister. But she said, Varsha Mataji took it very, very seriously. And she regularly used to take her. She was, my sister was there for three, four months here during that. After engineering, she has some holiday time. She'll, she gets the MTech admission. So that time, regularly for four months, she regularly took her to the hospital every 15 days. And she took her herself in her own car. And she made sure that her hairs are intact. <laughs> so that was the commitment. Anything she took, she took, she did it the best. And also, one more time, we went to Jagannath Puri. The next day was Ratharatra. Previous day, myself and another devotee were there. I think Vrajdev Priya Mataji was there. And uh, Varsha Mataji and Kalani Radhika Mataji. They were there. They were going for darshan. So we were standing very far. It was so much huge crowd. We were thinking, Aaj to Jagannath. Andar hai kal bahar chale jayenge, then we will not be able to get darshan. We don't know whether uh, rat pulling will, in that huge crowd, whether we will be able to go or not, we are thinking. So, and Varsha Mataji saw from a distance for her. And she was with some panda. And she went to, to the panda, she spoke, she spoke to him. And Vrajivipanji Mataji, both of them, they discussed something. And they called us. And we entered with them through the, some, some secret line. We went for darshan. And later on, <coughs> The prasadam was arranged only for three of them. And uh, the panda make three plates and she go. Varsha Mataji, she gave her plate to both of us. I don't know what they did with other prasadam they managed. So she did not care about her own prasadam, which was arranged from the di directly Lord Jagannath. And she gave that prasadam for us and she took care of us. So I feel very much indebted to her. Mm, and I feel very fortunate for having been. And another very important thing I, uh, I wanted to share after two, three years, um, in 2010, somewhere around, so I was a little, um, like, no, you face some challenges in if you work under any department. So I had also some challenges with my authorities or anything. So I told her, because she was, like, in our team, only core team, uh, she was there and I was there and our Sri Vashtanarbo also there, I think, in that team. I told her, Mataji, I am changing my seva from next month, something like that, I told her. She told, why? Oh, they, we have some differences, everything, I told her. Roji, uh, this world is a full of differences. So why is what a small difference? Why can't, why you are changing a department? Now we have freedom in our temple, we can change the department. If you are not able to adjust with one seva, we can change immediately other seva, I told. Now whatever it may be, but if you stick to some seva for many years, you will learn a lot. And also you will get the blessings. And uh, she told one more important thing. If you go through that process of learning and submitting oneself, and you will get a lot of realization, she told. Then I thought, okay, let me try. Then another three, four years I served. Then afterwards I got Brahman initiation and then automatically my department changed. I became a pujari. But at the right moment, she, she taught me a lesson. Ki how one should submissively serve the authorities and superiors. Do not see faults in them. Do not see the lacuna in them. And submit yourself. Over a period of time, you will be reward, rewarded for what you are doing. That's what she taught me. So, and also... We went once to the hospital. Uh, before that, uh, she got a cancer and everything detected. I, I was not knowing for almost an year. One day, Bhotarani Mrakshmi Mataji came and asked me, Varsha Mataji asking some Mahaprasad for giving to the doctors. I told for doctors, what happened? She told she had some serious health issue and everything. Then I was knowing what to do. The next day, she came and Bhotarani Mrakshmi Mataji told me she has a cancer. Then I called Mataji and told, Mataji, why you have not told me? You told so m the whole world knows, but I, I do not know you have got cancer. Why, why you kept me in dark? I spoke like that. Then she said, Prabhuji, I don't want to cause pain to you by uh, telling that I have got a cancer. I was amazed to see that. She was more concerned about my pain because we are together serving him a lot. She knows somewhat I am a little sensitive person, sensitive nature. She told, because I don't want to cause pain to you by telling that I have got a cancer. I was just amazed to see her Sensitivity and caring for others, other needs and interests than her own difficulty. She was wonderful, Vaishnava. I really um, miss her, her association and uh, uh, valuable support in Krishna consciousness. And Prabhupada said, uh, or Saraswati Thakur said, our uh, movement has, the disciples of uh, Gaudiya Mata is gone. They are truly gentlemen. So she, she represents that actually. I never seen any time joking or... Um, commenting about anyone or having any grievances about anything, nothing, no, anywhere, any dissatisfaction. Because from 2007 to 15, almost eight years I served with her. So really he was a completely self-satisfied and very much focused in her aim for practicing Krishna consciousness. 
Once I asked her also, Mataji, why did you not got married? She told, I was so much busy in serving my parents, uh, the marriage is crossed, she told like that. And later on, I just forgot about marriage, and I got Krishna, introduced to Krishna consciousness, and this is what my family, and these are all my children, this, this, this is my family, I don't need any other family, this is what she told. So there are many, many more memories, I think time is short. So I'm very honored and grateful to be part of this assembly, and also I'm very thankful to her. I seek her prayers and blessings on this occasion. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Ram Sevak Prabhu. Yes, definitely, she was a very, very dedicated and inspiring us in so many ways. I would request Chitra Lalitha, you are ready? Yes. After Chitra Lalitha Mataji, we have Vaikuntavila Sini Mataji.